Hello, this is Slayer Lamp. I'm gonna sh explain something about um, the first of my own chat about the blast grenades because I'm doing it since I'm always also seeing another streamer doing it. I started to do it uh, because you can make major money from it. Uh, the first thing you have to do for blast grenades is start the quest, uh, the giant dwarf. You don't have to finish the quest, you just start the quest and you can enter Caligram. Um, after you enter the Caligram, you just can use the minigame teleport, the blast furnace, you, go, you enter the clan chat, automatic, and then you do the teleport, and, you're, and you come here outside. I'm going to show it in a moment. Uh, if you do the blast furnace teleport, you'll end up here somewhere. So I think it's here. So you just enter the door, go through it, go down, and here you are. Um, you can do it at level 1 already, at the one smithing, you can uh, do it here, but it, I, re I recommend level 30, so you can do steel bars. Now the question is, why is Blast Furnace so good? Now the point of Blast Furnace is, you use 50% less cowl for the bars you're gonna make. So, if you make like a mineral bar, you, you normally have to use f uh, 4 cowl ores, that's 800 GP. With the Blast Furnace, you only have to use 2 cowl ores. So you save 400 GP, so that's why you make major profit here. Um, the other point is of um, training smithing here. You have to pay this guy 2500 GP for 10 minutes if you don't have 60 smithing. So if you lower than 60 smithing, you have to pay him 2500 GP in 10, for each 10 minutes or 15 minutes. I'm not even, not sure about it. I think it's 10 minutes. However, I didn't, uh, it might be 15. So you have to pay him uh, until you're 60 smithing, and after you're 70, uh, 60 smithing, you don't have to pay him anymore. So how it works, you add the ores, and you go here, in the, and you just put ore in. So I have to put, for 27 mineral bars, I have to put in this 54 coal ore and um, 27 mineral ore. I'm first gonna grab some ores again, so I can explain it better. So what, how does it work? I'm, I'm, not, I'm not really a professional in this, I'm new to this, but I'm going to try to explain everything for... I'm, the, I'm a skiller, so I'm going to explain it for skillers. So once the ore's on here, you, um, you see this guy, uh, go. he's on the paddle. You, you, you lose energy, you lose energy when you're doing it, but... This the... if you can, someone goes sit on here, the ore's are go in uh, the melting pad. You can see bubbles here, but if you don't see bubbles, just type this, toggle roof. If you did type it, you might see bubbles. So the, you need 30 agility for it. You also need levels to do this. So 30 agility you need for this. This is the collect coke. This is, you, you, put, you take the spade, you collect the coke, and you put him in the stove. Um, you need 30 fire making for, to do this. So I don't have that, so other people do this. Uh, this is the strings part. You need 30 strings to operate the pump. Um, so he will operate the pump, and it will uh, pump the, the heat of the stove through here. Now this is the part where, where I, where I uh, help crafting part. Um, the, this pipe and this pipe you can break so that's why I have a hammer in my inventory so I can fix the pipes. The temperature has to be green so the ores can smelt and it will become red here. So the ores will go here and you will see a red bar. Just use an, um, a bucket of water. You can uh, There are buckets here like they respawn automatic but not, every, not all the time. You put your bucket, uh, and you can just an empty bucket. You fill it with water, and you put your buckets uh, here on the bar dispenser, and then you have 27 mineral bars or 27 steel bars, bronze bars, iron bars, gold bars, uh, anything else. Um, you, uh, as you know, you can also have uh, cook uh, smithing gauntlets from the family quest. The those gauntlets work with uh, gold bars on this place. So you get extra XP if you use them, if you make gold bars on this place. Um, so yeah, that's how it works. Um, so if you have any other questions, you can ask me. So I need 30, for, to operate it on your own, you have to need to 30 crafting, 30 fire making, 30 agility and 30 strings. Now, so for a skiller, you don't do this, of course, other people will do this for you. Um, just don't leech, I mean, I did leech like one day because it, it was new to me, like I didn't understand the whole part and I did try to figure it out. Some people got mad, oh, I understand that, so that's why I got my crafting up, so I can fix the pipes. Um, so yeah, don't leech, just help everyone a little bit because it's nice XP, see my, my bars are ready. Uh, I hope someone is gonna cool them down, so I can show it for you. 
I hope someone is. Thank you. So see, 77 meter bars. I collect and all my bars are made at once. I know I just at mineral ore again and at cow again. So you can put like up to a little more than 200 um, coal. So you can add 200 coal and then you just have to add. Uh, you can add the mineral or your iron or your um, add the ore, rune ore. It depends uh, what bars you're making. But just like you also have to add all the coal again that you lose. So um, I hope I did help you a little bit with this. Uh, if you are confusing with the guides, you can always ask me in game. I'm not in game, I can't respond in game because I don't really want to add someone and then remove him again. Um, so just join my clan chat if you have a question or just ask it on the stream. So, uh, yeah, this is the guide for Blast Furnace. I hope I did help you a little bit and uh, goodbye.